In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these letterbox film frames in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. You can see I have already set up a 4K resolution sequence, which will provide a crystal clear backdrop for our project. The first step is selecting the rectangle tool from the toolbar. With this tool, I'm going to draw a shape that extends from the left side toward the right side of the screen. After creating the shape, we need to switch back to the selection tool by clicking on this icon and then go to the essential graphics panel. Once the panel is open, we can adjust the properties of our shape. For this project, I am going to change the shape's color to a bright white, which will provide a clean and modern aesthetic. Now we can turn off the safe margin from the program monitor. To enhance the overall positioning, we should click on the center alignment icon, which will align the shape both horizontally and vertically within the frame. To create a more rounded appearance for our shape, we can increase the corner radius using the essential graphics panel, which will smooth out the edges beautifully. In the next step, we will focus on selecting the graphic layer we have been working with. Once selected, right-click to bring up the context menu from the options available. Let's select Nest to create a new placeholder. It's essential to give this placeholder a meaningful name, so I'm going to call it Frame. After that, we need to create a new adjustment layer in the project panel. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Once that's done, we can drag and drop the adjustment layer onto the timeline, positioning it where needed. Next, it's time to enhance the visual appeal by applying some effects that will introduce gritty and rough edges to our shape. We will start by applying the rough edges effect to the adjustment layer two times. Next, go over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, let's customize the top rough and edges effect. Now, we will set the border value to approximately 11 to create a pronounced outline. Then we will adjust the edge sharpness to about 10, giving the edges a more defined and textured look. Lastly, we will modify the scale property, setting it to around 18 to add a sense of depth and complexity to the effect. And then, let's customize the bottom rough and edges effect. We have to select Rusty from the edge type parameter. Then, we need to set the border value to approximately 23 to create a pronounced outline. After that, we have to adjust the edge sharpness to about 1.40. Lastly, we will modify the scale property, setting it to around 15 to add a sense of depth and complexity to the effect. In the next step, I am going to apply another effect. This is a Gaussian blur effect. Now from the Gaussian blur effect, we have to make the blurriness value around 3. In this way, we have added some gritty and rough edges to our shape. After that, let's focus on the two layers we have in the timeline by selecting them. Once they are highlighted, right-click to open the context menu. Then, select Nest. I am going to call this frame with dirt for clarity and organization. Next, we will need to adjust the position of this nested sequence. Now let's continue by creating a new color mat in the project panel. When the settings window appears, we will choose a deep black color, which will serve as the perfect backdrop for our project. Once that's done, we can drag and drop the color mat onto the timeline in video layer 1. Again, let's focus on the color mat and the top layers in the timeline by selecting them. Once they are highlighted, right-click to open the context menu. Then, we need to select Nest. I am going to call this letterbox for clarity and organization. Alright, our letterbox creation is complete. It's time to enrich the letterbox with a video that will captivate our audience. I already have a video footage on my computer. To begin, simply drag and drop the video onto the timeline. Once that's done, let's focus on the upper letterbox. Locate the blending mode property and select multiply mode from the drop down menu. This action will allow the video behind the letterbox film frame to blend in creating a cohesive visual experience subtly. In this way, you can create a really simple and nice letterbox overlay in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment. 